All right, boys, yet another update. Uh, found a guy in uh, South Haven, Mississippi. Called him up. He said, yeah, I got a block. Come take a look at it. It's okay. I drove out there a little bit ago, and lo and behold, he's got me a block. Not sure what he knew or didn't know about it, but uh, it's a storm block. I already run it by the machine shop. We uh, run my, run a home down the cylinders. Most of them look pretty good until you get to this one. And it's got a few decent scratches in it. Um, according to the bore gauge, we could technically take it 10 over and be safe. Uh, but I can't find a set of 10 over pistons in the uh, side in the in the bowl shape that I need. You know, uh, each injector takes a separate bowl. You know, 24 valves take a bowl that's in the center of the piston. 12 valves take one that's offset and in a certain angle because different injectors have a different spray pattern angle. Um, the only piston I could find that was what I needed was a 20 over. So we'll have a 20 over 5.9 block, <clears throat> but it's a hell of a lot stronger than what I got. It does have hit, uh, blind head bolt holes. It does have one cam bearing. It's not an industrial block. I know some of the blocks, I want to say, and I'm not for sure, some of the industrial blocks had uh, cam bearings throughout it. Uh, this one doesn't. It's just one at the front, and I don't have, I don't plan on, you know, putting cam bearings through it because I'm not making that much power. Five, six hundred horse. Don't really need a billet camshaft. So anyway, I'm gonna get the little Bob Kitty. And I unload this dude and uh, give her a little bath and look it over. Pistons are on the way. Got them ordered. Take it apart, clean it out, see what she looked like. Pop the freeze plugs out of it. Get a few more parts ordered. So uh, that's what it is. All right, then.